Hey everybody, what's going on? Happy Halloween and welcome to the official awakening video of our girl Alice, the voodoo master guys. That's right, it is Halloween today and uh, how fitting is it that we are about to awaken Alice. It's pretty sick because this is probably the most Halloweenish character in the whole game I would say. So anyways, I've already gotten part number one already set guys, so let's go ahead, jump to part number two, and uh, let's see what we gotta do. Alright, so we gotta do the Dwarven Forge, two more times, which is right now guys, let's go ahead, let's do this fast and easy, lemon squeezy, sweep, boom, perfect, that is all set, let's head back now and let's complete this, boom, and part number three, with her, or any, alright, we just gotta complete this one with nobody dying. Let's do this. Who should we use? Uh, let's go down here and use some of the nicer, cooler heroes. The newer ones. Boom, boom. Alright, let's go. And action! I'm going to... They shouldn't have messed with me. Oh, I see, I see. You don't like that. She doesn't like people messing with her, guys. So let's not mess with Alice before she tears us apart. And uh, we're gonna take a look at exactly what her all uh, awakening is going to do because it seemed pretty cool from what I read before. Fools, they will pay for this. How much will they pay? All right, all right, crap. This front guy is immune to magic here, which is okay because we do have more fear. Damn it! Just keep wasting Mog's ultimate there. There we go. All right, last stage. Let's get over this right now. They underestimated my powers. Um, that's exactly what Anakin Skywalker said when he faced his <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi. All right, let's go ahead, guys. This is done. Done deal here. Let's head back. And who's ready for this, guys? If you are ready for Alice transformation on Halloween, give me a thumbs up and let's do this now. Go! Whoa! What the hell? She just all of a sudden got a lot younger. That's so weird. Now she's wearing this weird maid costume. And the doll even changed a lot too. Holy moly. Whoa. I love this card. Wow. Alright. This card is sick. This card is so awesome. For so many reasons right now. Wow. I am just thinking this card could be the face of abortions everywhere. How about that? Doesn't this doesn't this just show the love between Alice and her child, which is her doll, which is not really a child, but you can kind of just put the two together. Oh, it's so touching! That's pretty sick, man. That's pretty freaking sick! Alright boys, that's so freaking sick. Let's go back now. Let's actually break this down a little bit. We've unlocked the ruins. Uh, let me see if I can give her anything. Yeah, let's give her these blue ones. Why not? I have them. Magic attack? For sure! Magic attack? Ooh, nice! So she got a little bit more of attacking, but let's take a look at the etar uh, eternal mark. The mark of vengeance will no longer disappear when Alice deals damage to the enemy. In addition, marked enemies can be marked again. Which causes Alice's abilities to be more, even more effective against them. Each time a new layer is added, Alice will regain health at a faster rate. Oh, wowzers, bowsers. Alright, so this one is completely intertwined with her fourth ability, guys. Which is the Mark of Vengeance. And in this one, whenever Alice takes damage equivalent to 10% of her health, of her max health, a skull icon will appear over the head of the enemy who did the damage, right? So that enemy will be marked. Once he is marked, her abilities will have an additional effect against enemies marked by this ability. Icon disappeared. So every time she gets hit for 10% of her max health, that enemy is going to be marked with the mark of vengeance. And then uh, her abilities are going to do extra damage to that guy. The icon disappears once Alice dies. Oh, it deals damage to that unit. But Alice will gain permanent boost in magic attack. Magic armor and physical armor up to five times. All right, so once they deal 10% damage, the enemy that dealt the most damage is going to be marked. She's going to get a boost in magic attack, magic armor, and physical armor, right? And then all of her attacks are going to do extra damage to that unit. But that mark goes away once she hits that, um, that enemy. But with the eternal mark now, that 
Mark will uh, can reappear. All right, will no longer disappear when Alice deals damage. So that mark is not going to disappear anymore. It's going to stay on that unit. So this is pretty sick. This actually makes her a lot, a lot more useful. Um, and uh, we're not going to know anything about it until we take her into a freaking battle. So let's just go ahead and battle with her. But wait, not so fast. Let me just auto forge her really quickly, guys. Just give her a little bit more of a little boost here. But yeah, so that mark of vengeance seems pretty nice. Hmm. Now we got to have to break down her HP to see how much HP it is because 10% might be a lot. So you might not want her to have the most HP either way because you want... Well, uh, it depends what kind of a hit she's going to take, but you want the enemies to do 10% damage so they can be marked with the Mark of Vengeance. So this way when she hits them, it does more damage, right? So let's go ahead. Let's take a look now and see what the battle is going to withhold. Alright guys, so here we go, directly in a battle here, so let's see what she's gonna do. I ended up using Petros and Aruk in the front with Alice. She's a frontline, uh, don't you, don't forget guys, she's a frontline, not a tank, a DPS hero, but uh, she goes in between these heroes here, which is kind of good, and it's kind of not that good either, because she's probably not gonna be able, oh, there we go. Alright, look, check it out. Oh, you missed it. Uh, Seraphin did the most damage on that attack, which means that she got hit with the mark of... Vengeance, so she was taken out pretty quickly, but this whole battle was uh, kind of not even fair. I destroyed them. Yeah. All right, guys, here I got another battle for you guys here because I wanted you to see her a little bit more in action here. And I went with more of a different squad here. Not a completely overpowered squad, but this one is a little bit better. So let's see what happens. Xanos, ooh, he almost died, but he got his ultimate off here now. Now, check it out. There's two heroes that are mar marked, guys. Prince is marked. And um, Ethereal was marked as well. So that was two heroes marked at that time. Right now, I think only the Prince of Persia is marked with her Vengeance Strike. Yeah, there she goes. Boom. That's a lot of damage right there. He's still alive though. So she's surviving pretty good here. But you don't want her to be in the front, guys. Believe me, you don't want Alice to be your frontline tank. You're going to want different, uh, some other heroes as well in the front. All right, so all we got now is Namtar. And he is affected by the... Uh, the vengeance there the freaking mark of vengeance so that is pretty cool let's see what this mark is actually gonna do we still gonna win this battle but i just want to see what she does Ooh, dr xeno went bananas on this battle here all right let's take a look and she still didn't do the most damage it was all about beltor and xanos did a lot too but all right so let's go ahead guys let's head back and Let's pull her one more time here. Final opinion on the awakened awakening of Alice. Did I miss it? Yes, I did. There it is. All right. So, final opinion on Alice, guys. She still sucks. I still don't think she's really that good. Um, I mean, she doesn't suck. She's okay. But, as you can already tell, she's not going to be your number one damage dealer, obviously. And let's take a look. She's supposed to be a DPS hero. The more damage Alice takes, the more of a threat she becomes to her enemies. So, I mean, I guess if the battle goes on as long as possible to the very end, she's going to stack a bunch of layers of her mark or vengeance. You know what I mean? She's going to stack a lot of layers on this up to five times, it says, which could make her potentially really, really strong. But... In a quick battle, which, you know, you have a lot now, it just doesn't seem like it's doing enough damage for her to be really, really top of the line. Uh, she's not bad, though, don't get me wrong. She's pretty good. I just don't see her as elite. You know, this doesn't just jump her over the top and make her, you know, the top 10 hero, I don't think. She's still okay average, but not quite, you know, elite DPS hero just yet. So, uh, I would have to rank her around like a 6 or a 7 at this point. Anyways, that's the awakening of Alice for you guys right there. I hope you enjoyed that. I will catch you guys on the next awakening video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night, guys. And happy Halloween!